She's not here, but uh, she's out of town. Um, I know she's going to enjoy this video. Um, I want to thank Harvey Brassler, Eileen Gold, Diane, or I should say Devora Kernis, um, my dear brother Gershon, much, uh, Uncle Baru, we call him Uncle Baru, Dr. Safran, and Larry, and Pauline Siegel. Um, we want to thank them. Um, I also would like to say thank you to uh, Dr. Safran for taking today's photos, and Bob Allen here, graciously uh, taking today's video. So let's all give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. And we want to thank Ken, who helped set up today. And um, again, Aline Gold and Diane. And those, Terry, I know she said, now, now I know she's going to be there at the end to clean up. Thank you very much. And um, thank you all for coming. So let's tell you about our wonderful cantor that we're about to hear. Um, okay. I have to take my glasses off. It's a little small. Okay. Cantor David Babinet has been named, by the way, you could, you could, uh, you could find a cookie anywhere. You're allowed to have it. Okay. Um, but at, right after he finishes singing, we will have a wine tasting. Okay, at which point we could all get snookered. Okay? But there's not going to be a bus, you have to take an Uber home if you want. Okay, the new voice of Chazonis. Chazonis is, uh, means cantor of Hebrew. The New York native holds a master's degree from the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music in vocal performance and a bachelor's of music from the University of Colorado at Boulder. So beginning his career in the classical music field, David was quickly acknowledged as one of the great up-and-coming voices of the opera world. His talent as a vocalist brought invitations to such internationally noteworthy venues as the Los Angeles Opera House, where he sang Marcello, did I say that right? In La Boue. Thank you very much. La Boue, you can have to help me. An opera San Jose, I got that right, where he sang Count Alma Viva. In La Noze, no, what does that say? La Noze de Figaro. Oh, not so de Figaro. Okay, as well as International Vocal Arts Institute in Tel Aviv, Israel, where he sang Ford in the opera Fals Falstaff. As a member of the prestigious Los Angeles Opera Resident Artist Program, he performed alongside the famous opera tenor Placido Domingo in many productions. Cantor Babinet was a winner of the 2003 Metropolitan Opera National Council yeah. Regional Auditions. He also won first place in the Palm Springs Opera Guild competition. Nunjio, for sure got that wrong. Oh, this is ridiculous. Nunjio something mm -hmm. opera competition and the Dante. Sounds like kind of pasta. Um, I'll, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Society. You should pass it on to somebody who could do it. Who could do this? The last Leave one. To this lady. She's huh? She's from France. She's from, yeah. I mean, from Egypt, but she speaks French. The last one. Culture. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to also bring your attention to this young man, William Vendis. Did I say that right? Vendice. Huh? <laughs> he shops at Parche. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, and he eats Suchet. No, 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 no. <laughs> but he probably, you know, he's going to do his thing. He's a maestro. He plays with the Metropolitan Opera House. Is that correct? I got it all right. Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Will everyone please turn off the sound on yes. your phone? Yes. And if it rings, Please go outside. Thank you for that request. Thanks. Appreciate that. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Cantor, David Babineau. Scusatemi, se da sola mi presento. 
And um, when I was here, I was uh, totally had a different appearance than now. I didn't have a beard, mm. and um, I just posted, I just shared a, my, my headshot with some friends recently, and uh, it's, it's just really funny. It's like a different person. If you, if you told me, like, you're going to be Hasidic, you know, you're going to have a beard and all this stuff, you know, I would have been like, what are you talking about? You must be crazy, you know? But uh, I think I'll just sing something else. I'll try to tell my song through words and also through singing. So we're going to do a uh, very famous Jewish piece. Does anybody know of uh, Moshe Asher? Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's called Omar, Omar Rabbi Lazar, Omar Rabbi Hanina, Tamide Chachamim, Marbim Shalom, Ba'olam, Shneamar Vechol Banaich Nimudei Hashem. All your, that, that through learning Torah, we bring peace to the world. And, uh, your your children are also called builders. The word for children is a uh, depending on how you pronounce one of the letters. It can be uh, <laughs> can mean can mean uh, children or it can mean builders. And through Torah, raising our children in Torah and banayich, uh, boynayich or banayich, so our builders, so they build up the world. Okay. Amara Amara, yeah. You have a pedal here, you know. <laughs> uh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's loud enough, the balance is good. Yeah? Sounds good to me. It seems like it could be a little stronger. Okay. Richard, the owner is here. There's a volume thing right underneath that. Is it this one right here? No, the other side. Oh, I want to thank Richard. Thank you for lending us the piano. Let's give a hand for Richard. If you touch the wrong thing, you're going to get boom, chaka, boom, chaka, boom. The round button, yeah, there. Oh, that one. That's good. It's maxed out. It's maxed out. We're the very highbrow musicians, you know. We, uh, we usually perform with a real piano, but we, we have to make with what we have. So it's going to be just fine. Oh, 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 oh,
na 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 Shalom Adabra na 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 Shalom 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 Thank you, thank you. I'm going to drink a little water because we are in a desert after all, so. L'chaim. What about what you with <laughs> mm. So I did not. I picked some music, which is actually the tessera, tessatura. Does anybody know what that means? No. Tessatura is like the range of the, uh, the piece, and the range for these songs is quite high. So I picked I picked stuff which is exciting. You know, exciting stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> the next one, I'm going to sing a piece for you, actually, which is. Uh, Romania. Mm -hmm. you ever, anybody know that piece yeah. by Aaron Levadov? I think I'm going to do something yeah. a little bit lower. <laughs> I'm going to do something a little bit lower to kind of relax my voice. So I think we'll do um, some fiddle around the roof. Yeah, it's on the book. 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 Yeah, it's Tenor, okay, tenor, bass, okay, where is No, baritone. Okay, baritone. Mm -hmm. Baritone, Okay, here's the, yeah. you got it right. So tenor, bass, baritone, baritone is the correct yeah. answer. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. So baritones are very funny because they're not always like the romantic, like, you know, like these kind of uh, serenading, kind of romantic characters. Sometimes they're like more the evil character. Or like uh, the father figure, like in Verdi, it's like, and I and I like that. I like being the father figure, and I think, especially with my look now, um, I don't think I really make a very good romantic character. It would take a lot of me. I think I, I think I blew all the self-esteem. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rabbi. I wish I had a beard like that. <laughs> you will. You will. You will. You will. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is a song, and I think I actually I put on my hat for this song because it fits the character very well. Uh, right. Start doing a. We'll just start with a little nap. Dear God, I, re I realize you've be created many, many poor people. <laughs> but it, what, there's nothing to be ashamed about to be poor, but it's no great honor either. So what would have been so horrible if I had a small fortune? If I were a rich man,
be playing different animal characters. So some of us are going to be turkeys, geese, ducks. So over here, um, how are we going to split you guys up? It's gonna be, okay, we'll start over here. These first two rows. That you're going to be ducks. <laughs> two rows. Yeah, you guys. Let's hear at least. Well, we're going to have a competition to see who's who's a better who's, who's going to win. Okay. So make sure you're loud. Okay. Can you make a duck noise? <laughs> quack, 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 again. Okay, next we're going to have the next two rows. What's your name? Marun. Marun and Harvey. So you guys are the, the uh, chicken leaders, okay? <laughs> I, you guys are responsible. We'll have sectional meeting. We'll have sectional rehearsals after. Okay, Marun and... So, um... Let's hear some chicken noises, please. Okay, very good. Okay, so far you guys suck. Like you have to. What's your name? Aura. Aura. Aura says so you're a sectional leader for the ducks. Okay. You can take this job on seriously. Okay. The back two rows. What's your name? Larry. Larry, you're in charge of the uh, turkey. Okay. Okay. Over here, over here. What's your name? Harvey. Harvey is in charge of the geese. Okay. Honk, honk, honk. Okay. Everybody. Okay. Ducks, 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 okay, come on, ducks, oh, hey, this is my friend Renee, she's a great, she's a great artist, she lives in, she lives on the beach in, uh, in Oxnard, and we, we go back like 15 years, and she was, she was my friend when I, like, lived in Oxnard, here's a place, so, beautiful artist, you should go check out her gallery sometime, so, um, you're gonna have to join the. Uh, you're gonna have to join. I'm joining the turkey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let, okay. Ducks. Quack. 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 Qu
are rich, they think you really know. If I were rich, I'd have the time that I lack to sit in the synagogue and pray, and maybe have a seat by the Eastern Wall. Discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day. And that would be the most beautiful thing of all. Oh, if I were a rich man, hey, I would be the woman of the big You decreed I should be what I am. Would it spoil some vast eternal plan if I were a Yes, yes, but I'm, I have to take a little break because it's really high. It goes really high. So I have to do, this is like, you know, warming up. I'm warming up. So that was a song about me because, you know, I am, a, I am, not, a, I am not a wealthy man yet. But, uh, I'm working on it. But uh, I have a very interesting life. I spend most of my time teaching people voice, how to sing. I give voice lessons. And I also work with a wine company. I work with a wine company doing wine tastings, and um, and I also sing. And I, I, I began singing more in the past like year and a half, two years, because um, for a while, like I, I left the singing for I, uh, I, I left I kind of left the singing for a while. I wasn't doing it very much at all, and I was doing more of the wine. I started my own wine company, but I didn't I didn't pursue that, and. Um, so, and I thought, I thought they were like at odds with each other, the wine or the singing. But I just decided I'll do both. So <laughs> now that's what brings me here. We're gonna do a wine tasting and we're gonna do some opera, some Broadway, some Yiddish. Maybe we'll do something Yiddish. Yeah. Let's do the uh, Mamula and uh, Yiddish and Mama. Oh, So, yeah. As I watch you light the Shabbos candles, there's a lovely glow upon your face. While you're standing there, whispering a prayer.
very small group of uh, mm -hmm. Egyptian Jews, but they're, they're out there. Um, so I guess we could try the uh, Romanian out. Do you want to hear the Romanian? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. Romanian. Tom, it's like, it's kind of scary. I think it's scary for the maestro as well. Because it's so, it's a very long, and there's a lot of very, there's a lot of very funny words. So I guess I'll share a few of them. It's actually, this song is in three languages. There's a there's a verse in Romanian. Anybody speak Romanian? Okay. No Romanians here. So if I mess up the Romanian, it's okay. <laughs> Anybody here speak Russian? Yes. Yeah. Okay. She corrects you. She's here. She corrects you. Только немножко по русски. Okay. So. Чуть чуть. So keep the door closed because I, I don't know. Because actually, I don't know, the words are, I don't know if they all actually all make sense exactly, but um, I'll do the Romanian first. So this is actually talking about how wonderful it is to, in Romanian, all the wonderful food, they have wine, mamaliga, anybody know what mamaliga is? Yeah. Okay. It's like polenta with butter and haze, it's like butter and cheese and a glaze of wine and um, oy vey. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, uh, you know, it's uh, so it says, Poi you ver, uh, as Poi a ver, Poi a ver di tre maslini, as you be dar nan cucini, that e draguzza e falcuzza, te you besk, the mat fascesk. Te you besk, you know what that means? Te you besk. If it's a very famous Romanian expression, it means I love you. Te you besk. The cucina, the cucina, I knew, that's the kitchen. <laughs> right. I'm not sure if it means that here, though. It means, I think it means something else, actually, yeah. Romanian, yeah. But Romanian is actually a Romance language. It comes from, it has, it's like Slavic and Romanian. Uh, Slavic and, uh, so, uh, this this song has very special meaning for me. Even, even so, it's a very difficult song. I like to do it exactly right, because the, the one who did sang this song famously, his name was Aaron Lebedev. Anybody heard of him? Yes. Aaron Lebedev, yeah. And he was like, he's like the king <coughs> of Yiddish theater. And actually, my grandmother, which I think I probably got some of my talent from her, she sang in the in the Yiddish theater. She was very good friends with Aaron Lebedev, so I, I sing this song for her. I know she's like smiling down at me now, 
and, and for her good friend Aaron Lebedev, I, I hope that I can do it exactly the way he did it. I know it's not exactly the way he did it, but hopefully he's looking down with having knockouts. We knock, won't know if it is exactly the way he did it. Yeah. We won't know. So there's some very funny verses, like, um, <laughs> just to share one verse. Sifri lesson is nishgit. Yeah, Sifri lesson. What does that mean? Too much food. Is Yener born in winter? Ah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Don't translate, don't yeah, yeah, no translation. Yeah, no translation. Yeah, it's not nice for the children. Yeah, the children. You're too young, you're too young. Yeah, too young. Too young. Okay, it, it gets even more racy. Uh, I'm not going to translate this part, but it says, Veres hat nur Geld to sach, Yener is a knacker. What's a knacker? It's a big shot. Show up. He's a show up. So if you only have a lot of money, you're a knacker. So if you give money to if you give money to the chabad, you're not a knacker. You're, you're, you're so, um, yener, uh, ein eigenes Weit ist Tage geht, nur jenen ist Geschmacken. Oi, vey, oi, It's very silly, but uh, I don't I don't say it like he means. I I say it like he's uh you know it's like the grass is greener you know so it's always like whatever you know. Okay, let's give it a try. No more talking. Okay, now we're in the church. I don't know something else. We're at the church. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know how to put it back on the piano sound? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, turn it to white. No, I turned it off. Yeah, good. Friday. <laughs> Romania, 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 Das ist 
I think we'll do it some Broadway. We have, we'll do, first we'll do, we'll do, um, no, we're going to do, um, 
We're going to do the impossible dream. It's a very beautiful words, and I think Rabbi Yoe will really connect with it because it's talking about Manavu Mantra, the um, Don Quixote. And he, he was a very, he was a very like, uh, he's a, vision, a visionary. And he has this vision of a perfect world, the Mashiach should come now. And, um, and even if the world is completely telling you something completely different. Yeah, it should be in there, but yeah, that's it. You found it. Beautiful. So let's try that one. Actually, they're here in California with me. They, um, this is actually my, I don't know if you know, but this is my second performance of the day. Oh, wow. I, was just, I was just in Reseda, the Jewish home, oh, and I did a performance there. They have Jews there? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was my, the maestro was actually asking, you know, That's, that's they don't where the Jewish home for the aged was. Yeah. 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 So. When, when they get old, they be the old. Yeah. This is young, we're a young community. Yeah, for sure. So, my, I have two children, thank God, and uh, they're five and two, Whoa. and um, <laughs> I got a little bit of a late start, you know, I got, uh, we, we, we were married nine years ago, so um, I finished in, here in LA, at the LA Opera, about 15, um, 15 years ago around, and uh, from there I, I, made, I paid a visit to, to the Holy Land, Israel, which we have to save lots of prayers for them. Um, sure. But I got I got a really um, who's been to Israel? Anybody not been there? Go there, kiss the ground. You know, it's, you know it's amazing. Like it'll change it changes your life. Like look at me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, I went there and I got Jerusalem fever. They call it, and like I came back. And I actually, I don't know you, all your backgrounds, but my background was very secular. Like I had no almost no connection to Judaism whatsoever. Like we celebrated. Um, Hanukkah, uh. yeah, we, yeah, we did. We celebrated that too, you know. <laughs> but uh, we had sometimes a Passover seder, sometimes not. It was like, it was like, that was it. I had no idea what Yom Kippur was, Rosh Hashanah. We never celebrated that. So I um, learned Hebrew, you know, just like 
you know, past 15 years. Like, so, um, but I, I went to Israel, I came back, and I looked in the phone book for like synagogue, and I saw this thing that said Chabad. I didn't know what Chabad was. So I called up, I called up your friend Sim Chabadman in Glendale, and I said, oh, what are you guys, Reformed, Conservative, Orthodox? He said, we're friendly. <laughs> Come meet us. Great line, right? Yeah. Great line. Yeah. They train these guys. Like, like, they know all that. So, um, yeah. I went, I checked it out. A few for bring ins with some Grey Goose vodka later, you know. I'm going to Yeshiva. So, anyway, that's, we'll, we'll sing. Uh, and then, and then sunrise, sunset, you don't recognize, you don't know what happened. So what happened? <laughs> yeah, fine. Is this the little boy I carried? Is this the little girl at play? I don't remember growing older. When did they? When did she get to be a beauty? When did of my Yiddish because I first learned German. So whenever I, when I, you know, I don't know how good your Yiddish is, but when I pronounce Yiddish, it's not, it has a little German accent. So I'm very self-conscious of it, but 
you know, we, we actually we did, we did a German opera together. We did um, Der Rosenkavalier. Oh. I played, I played a, a, uh, an attorney, and I was completely blue. I was, my whole face was blue, and I had a, I had like a, one of these like bald caps on, and it was all painted blue, blue suit. Actually, it's lighter than this, but blue suit, blue tie, blue shirt, everything. I think they painted my hands blue. So, blue eyed, maybe that's why I got the part. You want to hear something funny actually? One, one time I was in an opera called La Vie Parisienne. You heard of that? Operetta. It's from, uh, what is that? Is that, that uh, Offenbach? Yeah, Offenbach. So, actually, there's a character in there called Bobinet, and my name is Babinet. Oh, God. So, there was a review, and it said the, the role of Bobinet was appropriately cat played by Babinet. <laughs> David Babinet, go figure. So, that was very funny. So, what are we doing? Oh, New York, New York. Yeah? yeah. 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 So that's going to be our finale, I guess. Right, Maverick? One more song? We're going to do Open Perfect Chip. And then one more year. It's my granddaughter's. One more year. wine. People are thirsty. Yeah, we're thirsty. We're thirsty for the Yaina of the Torah. Yaina Shokoya is the Rashi, actually. The wedding Rashi. Right? We're going to have Rashi after this? Rashi. Yeah, we have Rashi. Okay. Yeah. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today.